welcome children to geography with juliana and we are studying chapter 3 physiography and drainage so far we have discussed four important physiographic divisions of india namely the northern mountains then we studied the penins the northern plains the peninsula plateau we studied the eastern and western coastal plain along with the eastern and western ghats and today we are going to study the fifth and the last physiographic division and that is indian islands okay now we need to remember that india is blessed with a huge coastline almost 5700 kilometers of coastline okay to the east and to the west and india is also blessed with a number of islands <clears throat> some of these islands are coastal islands because they lie very close to the coast for example near the gujarat coast okay near the maharashtra coast but there are some islands besides these coastal islands there are huge group of islands which are called as the deep sea islands okay so we have coastal islands and deep sea islands among the deep sea islands we have two major group of islands okay the one is called as the andaman and nicobar islands in the bay of bengal and the other are the lakshadweep island in the arabian sea <coughs> now while studying these two group of islands we will study them as differences okay so we register it better when we either compare them okay and find the differences and similarities talking about similarities they are both group of islands and group of islands are called as archipelago okay so both are archipelagos that's group of islands now andaman and nicobar islands are in the bay of bengal about talking about differences while the lakshadweep islands are in the arabian sea okay so andaman and nicobar islands are larger group of islands while lakshadweep islands are smaller islands what do you mean by that andaman and nicobar islands have hills as well mountains on their islands but andaman and uh, sorry but the lakshadweep islands are normally small atolls now what is an atoll atoll are like small islands which normally get submerged during high tide and are visible only during low tide so the lakshadweep islands are normally atolls while the andaman and nicobar islands are larger islands with mountains okay now another major difference is andaman and nicobar group of islands have almost 572 islands but out of which many are atolls as well okay some are huge and among these huge there are about 37 good islands which can be and which are inhabited by human beings okay on the other hand lakshadweep though laksham means thousand okay they don't really have thousand islands they have only 36 islands of which only 10 are inhabited okay because as i told you most of them are small and they get submerged during high tide now andaman and nicobar group of islands they are submerged peaks of volcanic mountains while the lakshadweep islands are simply like atolls the capital of Andaman and Nicobar Island is do you know what yes Port Blair and the capital of Lakshadweep Island it's Kavarathi okay now we come to the next slide so those were the differences between these two group of islands here what you get to see in the Andaman and Nicobar as the name suggests there are two big groups of island one is the andaman group of islands and the nicobar group of islands and these are separated by a 10 degree channel so this can be for map work okay it's a 10 degree channel now what is a channel channel is a narrow water body separating two larger water bodies on either side 
okay so that's 10 degree channel which you see here separating the andaman and nicobar group of islands and we had also studied the southernmost tip of india that is indira point is situated here okay at the tip which is called as indira point it is the southernmost tip of india so that can also come as map work okay so you should not forget that then one uh, this is the only active volcano which is in the andaman group of islands which is called as the barren island so this can be asked as fill in the blanks objective again okay the only active volcano in andaman and nicoba island is the barren island so this is fill in the blanks barren island now you have studied in the lower classes i think in the 9th or 8th standard okay the three types of volcanoes do you remember that Yes these are active volcanoes that's one type then you have dormant dormant means sleeping volcanoes which does not erupt so frequently but can erupt and the third type are called as extinct volcanoes extinct volcanoes means they are now extinct okay they erupted in the historical past but they are not likely to erupt again okay though the scientists believe that we cannot say they are totally extinct they may erupt but it takes 800 to 1000 and more years for them to erupt therefore we call them as extinct volcanoes in the next picture we get to see one of the beautiful islands in the andaman and nicobar group of islands the, it resembles the shape of a guitar so also called as a guitar island how many of you love playing the guitar yes okay so you can pick it up and start strumming it okay looks beautiful the next picture okay gives you the same i think the 10 degree channel which we spoke about it's in the center okay between separating the andaman and nicobar group of island now what could be the sports here many people go as touring okay for tourism here so snorkeling and scuba diving Okay these are major tourist uh, tourist sports here snorkeling and scuba diving okay so many people go here and uh, it's a tourist spot as well now talking about the occupations okay what are the occupations that are carried on here yes they can have the main occupation of course is tourism tourism because of the beautiful beaches okay that they have here Okay I'll show you this picture here so you see the beautiful beaches white sand clean beaches and beaches all around okay and therefore because it's an island and therefore they uh, the tourism is their major occupation besides that of course there'll be fishing then various sport activities as i told you snorkeling scuba diving but besides that they have a choir making because if you look in the picture here there are plenty of coconut trees they are also good exporters of coconuts okay so choir making out of coconut uh, choir is another major occupation then wooden artifacts okay is also uh an important occupation here making small miniature artifacts out of wood now what you see in this picture here is the atoll i spoke about atolls they get submerged during high tide okay and during low tide they become visible and therefore they cannot be inhabited by human beings what you see here <coughs> is the only airport in uh in the, sorry in the lakshadweep group of islands okay which is called as agati airport now this is another beautiful view so when the planes land on the surface uh, sorry when the planes land on the on these runoffs okay it can be it can look quite scary because you are literally landing in the middle of the arabian sea but these uh, runoffs are huge okay sorry the run runways runways okay not run off i'm sorry uh, for that runways are spectacular they are huge okay and uh, you can watch one of the videos okay there are plenty of videos about the landing on this agati airport i watched a few of them and it looks scary okay but at the same time it is also it also looks spectacular so with this we end okay the indian group of islands that is andaman 
and Nicobar and Lakshadweep group of islands. We also spoke about coastal islands, coastal and deep sea island. These are the deep sea islands. Okay, so with this we end the physiographic division of India, all the five. And in the next video, we will discuss the physiography of Brazil. Till then, keep watching, keep studying. Okay, and wish you all the very best. Thank you and God bless you.